Victoria's Secret has announced a plan to take to the catwalk once again with a new version of its fashion show. After experimenting with plus size models, disabled models, trans models, a male model, and Megan Rapinoe, Victoria's Secret has decided to try an experimental new format of having the models be really hot chicks. CEO Martin Waters stated, It just came to me one night. I was looking at pictures of our current angels and I said, what if these women were really hot? At first I thought, that's crazy, but I just couldn't get this idea of really hot chicks as models out of my head. And eventually started to think, but what if it's so insane it just might work? Martin states he spent hours just staring at pictures of Megan Rapinoe and then A-B testing those pictures with pictures of really hot chicks and came to the shocking revelation that he much preferred looking at the pictures of really hot chicks and says, if I preferred looking at pictures of really hot chicks, well then maybe there were others out there just like me. But still hesitant to move on his avant-garde idea, Victoria's Secret funded multiple focus groups that confirmed the original suspicion that there might be something to this idea of using really hot chicks as models. With factory worker Dave Thompson describing the really hot chicks as much hotter. When asked about the blowback to the controversial new idea, representatives from Victoria's Secret have said, listen, any new idea as bold as really hot chicks as models will be met with some skepticism, and we're gonna have to be very careful how we introduce it to the public, but Martin seems very convinced that this really hot chick thing has legs. Victoria's Secret has also stated that despite the favorable reviews from online critics, the current method has also led to constant stream of criticism demanding even less hot chicks, none of which has translated into sales. So it will be hard for the brand to bleed any more money than it already is.